Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park, as you know. And for today's 28 and 28 installment, uh, we are going to be talking about the various gun directors on board USS The Sullivans. It could be very confusing, so it took me a little bit to figure out how best to get you this information. Right, because not only do we have your original configuration, we've got a 1945 refit and again a 1959 refit. So we have three different areas over three different time periods. And so what I decided to do was to kind of break the ship into three A, B, and C, just like you do when you want to know your ship. Uh, a, forward, B, midship. And for us, we'll be talking about the stacks, all right, in between the stacks. And then C will be uh, the superstructure aft. And then I will run through each of the three eras within uh, those sections of the ship. All right, so I'm standing forward. The bridge is right behind me there. You can see your scoreboard, which, you know what, everybody, I really want, I really got to get uh, the Korean conflict scoreboard up there. Uh, rescuing down pilots from World War II. If you watched our video yesterday, you'll know that we rescued uh, 12 pilots, or the Sullivans rescued 12 pilots uh, from the ocean when they crash landed in the ocean. Uh, so I want to expand out that scoreboard a little bit uh, on both sides. But being in the superstructure forward, that means we're going to be talking about the Mark 37 gun director, which was the gun director for all of these 5 inch 38s. Alright, the five, the Mount 51, Mount 52, Mount 53, 54, and 55. Alright, so it's actually a little above us here, so I'm going to zoom in and we're going to start talking about it. Follow me. Well, everyone, I wanted to actually climb up there uh, to the gun director platform with the searchlight there, as you see, but just can't. We got a lot of melting snow and some ice because it gets real cold here at night and it freezes overnight. Uh, so just the best thing to do would be just to stand here and speak about uh, the Mark 37 gun director. All right, so this is, with all gun directors, uh, tracks position of the target using bearing, range, and elevation. All right, in her original configuration in 1943, there would have been the Mark 12 rectangular and the Mark 22 antenna uh, attached at the top, but it was changed to the SPG-25 dish that you see today in her 1959 uh, refit. All right, so you would have seen different uh, antenna on the top of the gun director, and we have a nice photograph that will show, uh, and actually that antenna is looking aft, so that's pretty cool, that Mark 12 rectangular uh, antenna is looking aft along the center line of the ship. All right, she did have optical sights in the front. All right, so what we'd like to, you can just vernacularly call like a window. And those things sticking out of the sides, uh, you might not be able to see it, like right there. All right, those are the range finders. All right, there would have been four crew in the Mark 37 gun director. There would have been the control officer. There would have been the range uh, operator, there would have been the, the trainer and the pointer. Right, so all of those they were working together to transmit the information all the way down uh, the ship into the gun plot, which would then electronically tell those five inch gun mounts where to track and where to train. Uh, so when they can calculate the future positions of the target and then send that information again to the five mounts. If it was noticed that the shells uh, were off a little bit, certainly the pointer and the trainer in the gun director itself can make those corrections manually, or the mount itself with the trainer and the pointer in the mount itself could uh, manually make adjustments. So what we're seeing again is all of this information is gathered in data here and, and collected here, tracking, 
the ranging, the elevation of the targets, being sent down into the ship on the first platform to the gun plot, all of that information is calculated in and then it electronically gets sent to the five gun mounts along the center line of the ship. All right, and that was, since, that was for the five inch. Now we're gonna talk about the Bofors and the three inch 50s. So now what we're looking at is the area between the two stacks. You'll see the forward stack right here. The aft stack is just a little off uh, the screen. And we got these uh, twin mounted Bofors looking right at us here, everybody. So I better, uh, I better do well here. <laughs> So again, now we're getting into, really for the forward and the Mark 37s, that didn't really change throughout the configurations. So we got the superstructure forward, that's all set. All right, so now we're gonna get into the potentially confusing part and I'll try to parse it out as best we can. So in 1943, with the, they had uh, the twin Bofors here, like you'll see there, and on starboard side, uh, then in her 1945 refit, they added quads, all right, so four barreled on both sides. And then in 1959, they added the, a three inch 50. All right, there is also a quintuple torpedo uh, on this platform here on the 01 uh, level. But if we focus right here on that, in 1943, for those Bofors, there was no gun director lookout. All right, I've looked at the schematics. Uh, there just wasn't a platform there just aft of the forward stack that would have given a lookout. By 1945, there was a platform and that housed the Mark 51 gun director. All right, and that was to control these forward or midship uh, 40 millimeter Bofors. By 1959, you'll see the structure that we have here. We have the two lookouts and we have the ready service locker for the three inch 50 that was placed here in 1959. So we had the uh, three inch 50 also on the superstructure aft, but here midships and then all of this system here was constructed and built for the 3 inch 50. Alright, the Mark 37's uh, directors didn't come with radar because the radar was mounted right onto the guns itself, but they had the two lookout stations right there and there, and then all of this, all of this compartment, all of these compartments here were for the ready service lockers, and if you look closely, there's the uh, pass-throughs for the shells for the three-inch 50s. So again in 1943 between the forward and the aft stack there wasn't really a lookout. Uh, there was a lookout, there was actually a station on the forward uh, stack, All right, but nothing that was right to the deck like we see here. And then it was uh, in 1945 they put up a single, you know, like a single tower that housed the Mark 51 for, again, the quad Bofors. And then the structure you see here was 1959, and that's the Mark 63 with the ready service locker. Okay, we're going to head aft, and we're going to take a look at the superstructure aft and what those changes uh, had over time. Okay, hey, now everyone, we are looking at the, the superstructure aft. Uh, if you've watched some of the armament videos, you see I talk a little bit about uh, the three inch 50 here that we, we still have. Uh, obviously, as you saw midships in between the stacks uh, above the deck house, you'll see that we have the, the uh, twin Bofors instead of the quads. But again, we're gonna run through those three time periods or original configuration. Now, one of the biggest things is that Mount 53 had been, has been removed. All right, so if we take a look here, this is where Mount 53 would have been, and if you go to the USS Kidd, um, 
I don't know if the Cass and Young is offhand, but you'll see the Mount 53 right in this area right here. Okay, so uh, basically this platform is very similar throughout the three configurations, uh, but in 1943 she would have had the Mark 49 uh, gun directors again for those Bofors that would have been on this platform right here before the 3 inch 50 uh, came along. In 1945 they changed that to the Mark 51 also for the Bofors. Alright, and then 1959, this is when most of this changed. Alright, so what we have is we have the Mark 56, which is what you see today. And that was the, uh, that was the gun director for the 3-inch 50 aft. So it's interesting that for the midship 1959 refit, we've, they're using the Mark 63 that you saw with the ready service locker. But here aft, they're using the Mark 56, right, for the 3 inch 50. And you'll also see some of those lockers right here and here, and then on the other side as well. Uh, so this one used a handling room to bring the ammo from down below instead of just a full ready service locker like you saw midships. But then they had the lockers right here uh, with ready-to-go ammunition. All right, so that's three time periods, three configurations, three parts of the ship. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, obviously, you'll, if you want, check back tomorrow and you'll see another one in our 28 for 28. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, I just said something wrong or something, please feel free to leave me a comment. And uh, if you check down below, you'll see some suggested videos. Uh, and keep on watching our channel. And thanks, as always, for your support. And we'll see you tomorrow.